Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Lego Transformer. Today we're going to be looking at um these guys. They are search bots. They don't really fight, but they um they look out for Decepticons. Like this guy's a lamppost. He looks at the streets and around him. This guy is a snake. He look goes into the sewers. And this guy has a car, so he searches the streets and all the, like, towns and, and mountains. So together, these guys can form a robot whenever they need to, to get back to the Autobots and tell them the news fast. First off, let's start by taking these two away and focusing on Mr. Snakey. Mr. Snake is, has the color scheme of a little bit of brown, black, and red. He has a nice little face right here this golden with this little gold tip super simple to build I mu tell me if you want me to make a how to build video on this guy if you enjoy it and you want to have him for yourself so this he has some pretty fl good flexibility he can move around all like this he's on a couple of bulges you can shape him into a couple shapes um, but he's meant to just like lay down and slither you can have him stand up like this like a lot S for snake, duh. He has some nice red tiles, a little claw in the back. That becomes the arms later. I probably just spoiled that for you. Sorry. Um, but he's pretty cool. I like him. He has some pretty good flexibility on his own. But that's pretty much it for him. Now let's bring into the car. The car has um some pretty it's pretty basic it doesn't really look like a car it looks like a thing with spikes he can't he does have a a, a a thing where he could ram into um the decepticons with his spikes or shoot them at at them in case they're getting chased he can roll he rolls smooth there's lots of clearance between the wheels and the ground you can get him to go pretty fast and so, that's basically it for him. You can move his cannons up and down. That's pretty much it. Um, let's put him to the side. Next up, we have the lamp post. He's pretty simple. He just has the lights right here. Some lights here for some reason. I don't know why. He has these little details. He can stand up. You can move them at an angle if you want. They're on ball joints for, for transformation. Um, that's basically it. He has some yellow. Not really that much but I think he's fine. Now let's get to the transformation. We'll just bring in him and him. We'll start off with the body. Actually no we'll start off with the legs. First thing you do is to see the how you can move this up and see how there are these studs here and there's no studs here. You want to move it so that way these go down like this and flip up the lights. They're obviously not connected. And then those form the legs. Let me straighten them out. There are the legs. He's standing over the snake. For the snake, all I really do is just fold him in half like this. And flip him around. Maybe he comes the arms. Last but not least, the body. He's super simple. All I really do is flip up the head, stand him up, and you're done. So... Now time to combine. You take the legs and just stick it right on under the wheels. Those form the legs, obviously. Then you take this guy and stick him on to this guy's these two studs right here. Right there. Now those form the arms. He has one, and that's him. He has one claw arm and one hand for holding so and he has the snake's head and one arm, which has a poisonous bite to it. Um, you can move his head up and down if you want. Move it side to side. I don't know why. It's on a clip. And then down here, you can... These are on ball joints, so you can always... Yeah. This part is kind of loose, so it will fall off. Um, you can flip, fold these around on each one. You could just have these straightened out because that just looks kind of weird and like extra long legs so I like to have like this 
the, light, the arms can move in and out. He's pretty cool. I really like him. He has the wheels in the back. I love him. I think he's awesome. So that's basically it. I'll just let you have 360 view of him. Nothing too special. He does sort of have another head. If you fold that down, those are the eyes and those are like horns. Um, I think that is sort of like the other head. But I, but this is the real head. So that's basically him. I'll just let you look at him for a little bit. Can't if I can get him to stand up. That's him. This is Speed Droid signing off. Bye!